Hello guys, my name is Carolyn Badencourt and today I'm persuading you to reduce your use of single-use plastic in order to stop plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is a very important matter because the accumulation of plastic objects and particles in the Earth's environment is affecting our marine life, it's affecting our wildlife habitat, and it's also affecting us. It is something extremely terrible and harmful to our environment, but there are many ways we can all contribute in order to make a change. Um, so what exactly is plastic pollution? Plastic pollution is the accumulation of plastic particles that come from objects and they remain in the Earth's environment. And like I said, it is a very important thing because it is affecting our ocean health, it's also affecting our food safety and quality, it's affecting our human health, and it's contributing to climate change. And to me, these are all very important factors that we need to take in mind in order to make this world a safer place for our environment and our wildlife habitat and our marine life. Um, so the usage of plastic um, is killing most of our fish, our sea turtles, our seabirds, because they are mistaking these plastic objects for um, prey. And it's causing them to die of many causes like infections, um, it's a affecting their ability to swim, it's causing them internal injuries, but most importantly, it's causing them starvation. Um, but not only that, animals, are, animals that are eating those smaller fish, like whales, sharks, dolphins, are also dying due to the amounts of microplastics that are being ingested from eating these smaller fish. It is also estimated that by the year 2050, our ocean will carry more plastic mass than fish, 99% of seabirds. Seabirds will have ingested plastic. 12 billion met metric tons of plastic will exist in the world. And most importantly, our beautiful marine life will have gone extinct. And to me, those are very important. Those are very terrifying things. And it's very important to take all of that in mind. Because personally, I don't want to see I don't want to reach the year 2050 and have to experience and see all those terrifying things happening. Um, furthermore, microplastics that come from plastic in our ocean affects our health as well because these microplastics are small little particles that are the size of sesame seeds, which you really can't see. Um, and they come from bigger objects like plastic bottles, plastic products, um, hygiene products, and also clothing. These microplastics carry bacteria and persistent organic pollutants, POPs, which degrade over time and become extremely harmful to us and animals. These chemicals can even cause humans harm by interfering with the body's endocrine system and affecting our neurological, immune, and reproductive system. Although it is said that by recycling, you can stop a lot of the plastic pollution, while in some areas that might be true, it's also a big cause of a very important thing in our environment that is affecting it. Because what they don't tell you is that these production processes of these plastic products are a leading cause of carbon emissions that are contributing to global warming. So needless to say, the best thing you can do is try and limit your single-use plastic use or try and reduce it the most you can and I am going to show you some ways I personally reduce my plastic use. Um, right now with me I don't have my, I use metal straws and biodegradable straws but I don't have those and I use them when, I keep them in my car because I use them when I go somewhere and I need a straw so I'll just use my biodegradable straw instead or my metal straw. Another thing you can do is you can invest in some products like um, plastic bottles to carry your water around. I've always had these with me and I take them everywhere I go. Um, also limiting your coffee cups. Um, what I do is I invested in cups that I now collect. So I invest in these and I carry them anywhere. I pour my own coffee, I pour my own drinks in there, my own water. And I practically just take these anywhere and they're very cute, as you can see. So um, these are just some ways you can contribute yourself. Um, another thing is replacing your toothbrushes. 
what I did, I replaced it with a bamboo brush. So these are made out of sustainable um, bamboo and it's biodegradable, so that's very great. Um, another thing I do is I switched out my, my wipes for biodegradable ones and plant-based made ones. Uh, another thing that you can do, and I feel like this is a very important thing we should all invest in and we should all take the time to invest in because it's not very expensive. It's very inexpensive, if anything, and you can find them practically anywhere, is investing in a tote bag. So I have a pretty big one and I have more, but this one's my favorite one. And what you can do with this one is you can, repl when you go to the grocery store, when you go shopping, you can, instead of using plastic bags, you can just take this one and just put your things right in here. And that way we can stop the use of plastic bags as much as we all can. Um, but with that being said, there are many, many, many more other ways you can, in, you can try and contribute and you can try and make a change. Obviously, you, all you need to do is Google it or look it up on YouTube, look it up anywhere you can. And just try and educate yourself a little more and find out whether, what other ways you can contribute to this cause. Um, but I believe that once we're all able to, um, once we're all able to change a little bit of our daily lives and change our way so we do things instead of getting coffees, instead of buying water bottles and things like that, I feel like we can all be able to make a change and, um, and just try and make this a better world for our marine life, our animals and everything like that. And even we can help and make a healthier life for ourselves. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can just leave me any comments. You guys can message me and just let me know what else you're wondering about. If I missed any points, if you're just wanting to ask any questions, uh, any advice in trying to stop your single use plastic. Just feel free to message me and that was my video. Bye.